Hey YouTubers, it's me, ATV Man 24 also known as Mr. Chevy. I am showing you today how to make a 1 ohm load out of two 12 inch subwoofers that have dual 4 ohm voice coils. Um, I had a couple people tell me that I couldn't do it, but I'm going to show that I can with my ohm meter. And now this is cheap, ugly, but it works. First off, just to show you, I'm just going to take my leads here. I'm going to put it to one coil and show you that I am getting a 4 ohm load off of one coil. And here's the other coil. Yep, see 4 ohms. And then on these subs, if you see on the sub, it has this slot. Well, these subs come with this fancy little jumper. And what this jumper does is either allows you to run the sub in series or in parallel. Well, if you run the sub in series and you put the jumper in this way, I'm not going to push it in all the way. I'm just, I'm just going to show you. Once you get that in, you take your leads and you can run it off of one off the two coils. Oh, make a connection here. I don't think that jumper is in far enough. There you go. You can see when you run the series, it goes to eight ohms. Well, I don't want it to run in eight ohms because I'm trying to run get it down to one ohm. So the jumper has to be over on parallel. So you take your jumper. I'm going to put this in the way. Put it into parallel. Take my leads again. Touch them to the two inputs. And you can see that it jumps down to two ohm. It may take a little bit, but it will go down to two ohms. Now that you've got both your subs in parallel, both running at two ohms, you take your two leads, you got your positive and negative lead on, on the sub, and you got your positive and negative off this sub. Remember, both subs are in two ohms. You take the two positives, hook them together, and you take the two negatives, hook them together. Say that, and that's for your mono amp. What you're going to do, I'll see if I can hold all this together, is I'm not, I'm trying not to touch the wire because that could throw off your ohm reading. Put the one lead there, the other lead on, the, on this wire. You see, it'll slowly go down, but you eventually get one ohm. So that's how you get one ohm off of two dual voice coil 4 ohm subs. There, I'm pretty sure there's other ways to do it, but you can do it. Um, you can see it's jumping around there on the meter, 1.2, but it, it is 1 ohm. And so that means your amp will run at 1 ohm and give you the full potential power. So that's how you do it. Um, next thing you'll see is the subs actually in the box, which is over there, and in the Suburban, and we'll do a sound test and we'll show you um, what power we get out of the amp and everything from there. Thanks.